respawn. I just wanted to say really quick, don't forget to join my Discord server and follow my Twitter for updates and to talk to me. Links are both in the description. Hi, it's Rainbow Respawn. I'm back with Pocket Mirror. Okay. Um, I didn't have much time. I just wanted to- I honestly just didn't want to split them in half, so here we go. I see, perhaps it's just me. Please, never mind. Welcome to my- Welcome, my precious guest- <clears throat> Guess the annual hellish private gathering. Agliette. As you all know, we're gathered here to celebrate our bonds as friends and partners. The time of prosperity has come and it must be embraced. Tonight is not a night for negotiations, conflict, or troubles. Tonight is a night to enjoy. It is a night to get away from all of our worries. What is the meaning of this? Everyone, let's call let us calm down. Silence, please. I must ask all the guests to leave this room at once so we can proceed with investigation. Please leave in an orderly fashion. Butlers, please assist our guests. What is going on? What should I do? Better not disturb them. Back to the safe box. Guys, there's someone here. Hello there, young lady. Aren't you early to the party? What party? You don't know about the party? Hey guys, she doesn't know about the party. How come you don't know about the party? What are you doing here then, little girl? Oh, I'm just- you should go to the party now that you're here. Oh, I, you never know, miss. You might just find your friend charming. This entire thing is one big loop. I'm very confused about it. Angel, you called. Oh, I'm so glad you actually called me. Oh, I. What's the matter? My name isn't Angel. Huh? What do you mean? Harpe. Harpe told me that wasn't my name and that I shouldn't talk to you. So you chose to believe her instead. That's understandable. Don't worry, Angel. I guess it's a bit too much for. too much to ask of you after all. I. No, that's alright. You're free to believe whatever you like, Angel. Just don't forget I'll always be here waiting for you. Angel, yes? It's nothing. So why did you call me? Did something happen? I got separated from Harpe. I ended up in this place and I don't know what I should do. Something horrible happened at the party now, too. You mean the murder earlier? How do you know about that? Angel, you're so silly. I know everything. I am you, remember? So what are you going to do about it? About what? About the murder. Are you listening to me? I... Sorry, Angel. I'm just a little confused. Listen, Angel. I'm not forcing you to believe me, but I am saying the truth. All I'm trying to do is get you out of this place. I want to be reunited with you as soon as possible. I need your help to be together with you again. So please, don't let Harpe fool you. 
Carpe is only trying to help me too. I'm sorry. I just don't know who I should believe in anymore. That's fine, Enjo. We have time, and besides, I will always be here for you. I promise I will tell you everything once I know you. I know once you find me. But for now, let's try to get you out of this mess. Enjo, <laughs> thank you. Don't be silly now. We should try to help each other, right? <laughs> yeah. Now, my best guess is to talk to the guests and try to figure out how to leave. Okay, I'll try that. Don't be scared, Angel. You can come talk to me whenever you want. Let's try getting you out of here together. <laughs> Good luck out there. Oh, I like her. I'm gonna save. So this whole entire corridor is just one big loop. I can save in the same time. Nerve of some people. Is everything alright? No, actually, it's not. I can't stand how conceited people are nowadays. They have no idea what the latest trends are, but insist on discussing them. Oh, I see. They haven't gone to Paris, and yet they try to sound smart by discussing imaginary trends. Especially that person. Dyeing your hair red isn't even a trend anymore. I'm done with discussing these matters with ignorant people. Party's ruined now. I want to go home. I heard some rumors about the victim. Are you interested? <laughs> yes. I knew it. I knew it. What? You weren't even invited to this party. I'd stop making a fool of myself if I were you. Uh... Oh, here she is. Here she is. What? You're the girl who wasn't invited. But don't worry. We won't tell. We won't tell. We won't tell. <laughs> Thank you. I guess. Women are beautiful, yet very complicated creatures, don't you think? Why do you say that? Uh, my ears are... They tend to have mixed feelings about things and can be very misleading. For example, I know from personal experience that women lie about who they hate and only tell the truth about the ones they like. Is, is that so? <laughs> yeah! <laughs> this unfortunate event has truly ruined this unique gathering. I was looking forward to discussing my newest business ideas with the host in this party. What do you want? Alright. <laughs> Rude. I feel so sorry for the victim. She wasn't that ugly. You're much uglier than her, so why was she the one who died? <laughs> Don't you think people here are a bit fake? Oh, I- no, never mind. We need to find the culprit as soon as possible. If we don't find the culprit tonight, they may strike again. <laughs> You're very pretty, miss. She is. She really is. <laughs> oh, I... She does, doesn't remind you... Doesn't she remind you of the dolls at our grandmother's house? She does. She does. Specifically that one with the rat's nest on her head. Right, right. <laughs> What about you? Do you know anything about the new trends? Oh, I... Not really. I'm <laughs> fine. It's not like I was expecting anything from such a pitiful girl in the first place. Alright. I wonder if anyone will be put to blame tonight. Of course not. Don't be silly. We all agree that it was for the better. No one even liked the poor girl. I'm sure they were just taking time to clean up the mess before we can go back to the grind hall. You do have a point there, my dear. I'm sure it took some courage to do it. It must have. Look at how she was dressed. Such a light-colored dress would have gotten stained in a matter of seconds. Knowing that person, she probably didn't even break a sweat. I do say the fiercest women always go to extremes to prove their points. I wonder if she has a new target. I just hope it isn't me. <laughs> Don't be silly now. You know she has no interest in men whatsoever. Isn't that just a rumor? I wouldn't doubt it. Rumors do go a long way nowadays. <laughs> Wait, you do not know. Okay, that's the bathroom, right? These kinds of events really are my cup of tea. I prefer to stay at home and read a good book. <laughs> Don't you think the people here are a bit big? Right, okay.
Hmm. I'm trying to find out who did it, but I don't know if I can. Pages are all torn and scribbled. Oh, Jesus Christ. Okay, you know what? I'm done. Have you looked at her shoes? They were hideous. No wonder she got targeted, haha. -ha. Now ladies, you mustn't forget about the Countess's hair. If it looks like a rat's nest, that's what it looks like. It looks like a rat's nest, that's what it looks like. I'm not surprised though, do you know how old she is? Did she tell you? She never talks about her age. Her husband once said she was 45. How scandalous. <gasps> she always says she's around 30. More importantly now girls, have you seen that person's ribbon? Oh yes, it was marvelous, such a sophisticated choice of color. Indeed, her style never has never disappointed me. The color of that ribbon goes amazingly with her hair. Too bad you can't say the same about that old witch. Poor woman, I actually feel sorry for her. Well, I don't feel bad for filthy liars. Do you know what I heard about her earlier? What, what, don't leave us hanging? They say that she's actually a ghost of a cursed widow. Oh. And that if you talk to her after midnight, she'll take your soul. Are you serious? That's so frightening. It's probably true, too. <laughs> I don't like people. Can I still not go in there? little girl. I know it's nothing. Oh! Such a shame that the party was interrupted. Shame? I think she got what she deserved. She'd been wearing the same trends as us. Talk about copycats. Too bad she was so ugly she couldn't even compare to our glamour. <laughs> True, we need to hold our positions as the most stylish. <laughs> Let's stop talking about the dead now, ladies. More importantly, did you know about the most recent trend? I don't think I have. It, oh, is it the French hairdos? Not necessarily. I was talking about the, the, the English home deco. Deco? What was that about the French hairdos? It's the most recent trend in France to dye your hair in extravagant colors. So was that how she achieved that amazing color? I wonder if I will try to get it soon as well. Who would have thought being a redhead was such a, was in fashion nowadays? That person it sure is trendy. Perhaps we should invite her to be a part of our glamorous meetings. Oh, but what if she finds us ugly? You do have a point there. <laughs> At least we got rid of the ugliest of them all. I think it's the one who keeps asking me what I want. Either that or the girls that were gossiping that I just heard. I found the culprit. I know who the culprit is. Please don't make this sort of joke in this situation. 
Don't you have any decency? No, I'm serious. I really know who it was. Oh, do you now? Yeah. All right then, Miss Detective. I'll gather the guests and we'll see if you're right. Uh huh. All right. This little girl he here claims she knows who the culprit is. Silence, please. Now tell us, miss. Who do you think the author of this crime? I... The one in... The one... The one who was telling me that... The one who was telling me that... Was it blue? No, it was a lady. I think it was white, the dress that she was in. She kept saying, what do you want? We'll go with white. I think it was the lady in the white dress. Unexpectedly, there are two ladies wearing the white dresses tonight. So if the two would step out, please. Shit. So which one of these lady young ladies would you say is the culprit? I was ridiculous. I would never commit such a crime. There's no way a child would know who the culprit is. I agree. This is completely outrageous. Please, ladies, keep calm. How can we be calm in this situation? We're being accused of something we didn't do. I'm sorry, I just... What is your proof anyway? I can guarantee you I am not the culprit. The other woman is the culprit. Me? I'm not like these other medis. Mademoiselles? I am innocent. Silence. Now please, tell me who the culprit is, miss. The left one. I suspect... Only cause she's being bitchier. Like, she's like, I'm not like the rest of them. That's my thinking. I, I suspect the lady on the left. This is unacceptable. Me, an assassin? Don't be ridiculous. It is, is the girl right? Are you the murderer? No, I am the innocent. I would be ashamed to have something like this happen in my own event. How can you allow a child to insult us? We're, we are your guests. This is truly insulting. You are right, young lady. I apologize for my behavior. As for you, my girl, you will be... Punish for your shameful demeanor. No, wait, I can explain. Butlers, take her to that room immediately. No, please. Where? Where am I? It's so dark in here, I can't see anything. Okay, so unfortunately I have to end it here. It's getting kind of long. Um, if you like this video, leave a like. If you think I could have done something differently, comment. Um, if you like me, subscribe and hit the bell button to get notified on when the next Pocket Mirror video comes out. Thanks guys, bye.